like all the like exciting things. You're like, oh, and there are so many <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I'm having a hair dilemma. Here's the thing. Let's talk. Let me just scoochy scoochy. Okay. Well, this is as good as it's gonna get. A little crooked. Everybody has that hairstyle that they love and adore, but it, they just know it, it won't work for them. And for me, that is the um, quote-unquote French girl hair. I just can't pull off that short French bob with the micro bangs, even though it is just so chic. It's so chic and it's like the one thing I wish I could pull off, but I know for a fact it's just not going to flatter my face, at least the short hair. So... I've slowly been just cutting away at my bangs and I was in the bathroom earlier and I was looking at my face and just thinking maybe you could pull off the micro bangs because I, I, I saw a video of a hairstylist talking about if you have a short forehead the micro bangs actually look banging it's almost like it elongates your forehead so I took the scissors and started trimming away my issue is that I wonder how to cut it to where it kind of stays like this. I like this little space in between my forehead. I don't like it when it's on. No. It's a little bit higher. I will say that these little bay yangs are making my perfume match me more. I know, it sounds crazy. It doesn't even sound like it makes any sense, but it does. It's that yearning to be mysterious. I'll never get there. I overshare everything. It's so cute. I took the scissors and just kept going at it until um, I saw fit. This is what life is about. Like, take those scissors and cut it. The only thing that I cannot cut right now is the length of my hair because I feel like I've just learned what flatters me and what doesn't and although I would love for it to be like a cute little whole moment um, I just know that my hair looks better on me when it's longer I'm not crying because I regret my bangs because I think they're so cute and I don't regret that <laughs> I'm having one of those days and I know it's pathetic to cry on camera and even more pathetic to post it publicly, but oh my gosh, it's because my cancer's in mercury. Ugh. It's so crazy how usually the person that's like hardest on yourself is you. And it's also like so stupid. Most of my life, I've always felt, what is this, dog hair? It's like a giant fluff. Most of my life, I've felt... For some reason, like, I'm just not a good person. I just sometimes feel like I'm not a good person. And it's really easy to be hard on myself. Which makes me really sad. I journal a lot. I try to journal as much as I can. And sometimes I read my old journal entries and it makes me so sad. Let me read you one. I have 10 minutes before I have to leave for work. So I'm gonna get my last good cry out now. Also, I drew this. Okay, artsy. I'm just gonna read you this because sometimes I think about like never being real or never being sad or never being, you know, like that on the internet. But also there's so many people that probably feel like they're just the only one. This was a journal entry I wrote last month. Um, I've been, I've, sorry, I keep licking my tears because they taste really good. I've been writing a lot, especially now that I've moved out and it's crazy because I never thought I would be like this, but I really, I just am, that I'm the type of person to be really homesick, apparently. Listen to this. 
absolutely simping in the journal. I'm so homesick. I feel physically ill. Okay, dramatic. Don't be so dramatic. This is how I was feeling at the time, okay? So I'm, it's valid. I miss my old house and my parents and my old room. I miss sharing a wall with my parents and having to be quiet when I cry so they don't hear me. Not much has changed. I try to be quiet. Cry, I try to cry quietly in this new house. I cry about what I miss and how I feel alone all the time. I feel more alone than I've ever felt before. I feel like it's just me against the world. No one is in my corner. Why do I always feel like that? I don't feel like this is mine. I feel like I'm in someone else's living room. Even though I picked out all the furniture. I miss... This is therapeutic for me, okay? <laughs> I miss the old tapestry that hung on my walls. In my old room. And how it would collect so much dust. I miss the light switch that for some reason was always on a dim setting and I hated it. I miss it all. I miss hearing my brother play video games. I miss everything I wish I was at home. One more night in my bed. I'm a crier, you guys. Like, if you're new here, if this is your first video you're watching. <laughs> I'm such a crier, but I don't usually cry on YouTube. I don't usually cry and like, ugh, I'm gonna have to go back and edit this and all that bullshit, but I am a crier and it's a big part of who I am. I cry about everything. And it's interesting that I miss my old house so much. In the beginning, I felt partially guilty for missing my house so much, but then I realized that it is so normal. My parents are like amazing people. They're the types that would have me around until like forever. It's a privilege to be able to say that your parents did such a good job <laughs> that it's hard to leave them, but Alas, we are here and I feel so grateful and, and I just feel so happy to be on my own and living on my own. The funny thing is, is they live like 15 minutes away. I didn't even move like out of state or anything. It's just the mere fact of like your parents being in the room over from you. That's the only thing. Okay, roll the next clip where I'm not crying. Like, I don't want to have to edit any more of this. <laughs> hey guys. I am about to drink this Wild Barrel um, Blackberry Peach. This is, Wild Barrel has some of the best sours on planet Earth. And I've been waiting for this all day. Um. Today I worked dinner shift and it was super freaking slow um, But I was in a good mood all day today. This week has been Bizarre would be like an understatement as far as how it feels. It's not like anything extraordinarily odd happened, but it was just emotionally Everywhere Today, I'm just gonna chill on the couch and probably have to edit the video of me crying. The part of me crying in this video, I really don't want to have to jam pack all the slow content next week's video footage into this week's video. Um, I'd rather keep them separate. So hopefully I have enough footage to post. If I don't, I don't really care, but I just didn't pull my camera out this week as much as I wish I had. Although I did have a lot of introspective moments off camera. Let's come to this chat corner. Um, this week I have been trying to connect with my feelings and Adrian, he put it in a really interesting way of compartmentalizing different aspects of your life and then kind of doing like a little analysis in each department. So like, where are you at and how do you feel mentally? 
and then where are you and how do you feel spiritually where are you and how do you feel physically where are you and how do you feel financially and just kind of break down every single portion and aspect of your life because it's a lot easier and i've talked about this in a vlog i don't know how long ago about how when i feel like my life is just in disarray it usually isn't it's usually one thing that i haven't just targeted and tried to understand and unpack i just kind of toss it in with a bag of marbles of everything else in my life and then i act like my whole life is falling and bits are just everywhere but in reality it's just that i haven't really grasped a footing in this one portion of my life so for me right now i've just been feeling like i don't give myself enough credit or i'm not proud of myself for the little accomplishments and i think it's really easy to get in your head about that everybody really has this moment where they forget to give themselves the validation that they deserve and you don't have to wait for somebody around you to tell you that they're proud of you you can tell yourself um there were some instances this week where i just felt overwhelmed um just exhausted ultimately just down on myself and then i would look i would do that thing where you look at a little picture of your young self think about them in that moment and it was always the times that I was bagging on myself the hardest that I would look at the picture of myself as a little young tot and I would just cry and think like, dude, she's trying. Like, she really is trying. I'm trying to change the trajectory of my, um, my inner thoughts and my self-talk and just tell myself like, okay, you're doing great. So often I just criticize myself and and again, I've mentioned this before, like I will take that and project it onto my partner, onto my loved ones, onto my friends and think internally, oh my gosh, they're disappointed in you. Oh my gosh, you're a terrible person. Um, just because you felt like you didn't do enough. I don't know, but I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm probably gonna edit this tomorrow so this might be all you get i'm sorry this video is just going to be a video of me crying and then a video of me reflecting on why i was crying that's just part of it that's just how it goes that's how life goes and i wish i could just toss in some artistic clips but there was really nothing that i took out my camera to film sorry ah oh, this is so good i'm gonna enjoy this beer talk to you guys later